Hi guys, happy Tuesday and welcome to my kitchen tour. So many of you have written in over weeks and weeks asking, can I see a tour of your kitchen in your cupboards? How are you doing stuff? So I'm gonna give you like a 10 minute tour. I've always been a bit nervous about doing this because um, I have a huge kitchen and um, I have certain things in my cupboards that other people wouldn't buy and I think I don't want to be judged and people might be nasty, so I've never done it. But I have decided to do it just now. And although I do now have a huge kitchen, I used to, I'm gonna show you what I used to batch in because I never used to live in the main farmhouse. Um, when the kids were little, we had a different house on the farm and this was my kitchen then. So you see, you can batch in any kitchen at all. So you will not recognize this end very much. If you're used to watching videos, you'll used to be seeing the other end of it. So I'm usually, this is what I look at. I've got my camera about here and um, I'm chatting to you. So one end of my kitchen is like kitchen area and the other end is sort of like eating, relaxing area. I'm gonna start at this end and then come through to the kitchen, okay? So let's go over here. Um, right, so over here, I have got like two big cabinets beside our, our sort of um, kitchen table where we eat every night. We always eat as a family together, it's our thing. And um, I keep this as like a nice end, sort of like your sort of dining room end really. Um, so nice lamps and stuff like that. Um, these two cabinets though are really practical. They're really old, my husband hates them. I love them, I love antiques, um, I love vintage stuff as you'll see as you go around the kitchen, um, but these guys work a treat. So, um, and this one in the bottom, I'll let you see what it's got in it just now, here you go. So it's filled with things that I just um, don't always need. It's like good sort of like some china bits and some little milk bottles and various things um, and lots of sort of props that I would use on my videos and on um, if I'm doing photography. And then this cabinet here is what we use all the time. Um, and I love it because it's out with my sort of main bit when I'm working in the kitchen. So it means that my kids can set the table um, and stay out of like if I've got hot pans going on and stuff, especially when they were little. Not so much now, but I'm gonna let you see in this cabinet um, because it's filled with lovely goody things I absolutely adore because my passion is to buy lots of like, um, I love anthropology, I love um, charity shops when I find like old vintage bits for the kitchen, that's what I'm really into. So let's go in and look in this cupboard. So one of the things that I really wanted as well when we redid this kitchen because it used to be half the size and we extended the house, I wanted a really big um, kitchen table. And this one was like one of those old pine ones and I got somebody to redo it. So they painted the legs and they painted the top and now it looks slightly different. So it's got cream legs, if you can see that in a brown top. And then over here, I think you can just see the end of it. If I come over here, the guy had this extra table as well um, and it was like a smaller thinner version of this one so um, what I did is I got the joiners to um, we didn't have much money when we were doing the house up because we'd spent so much on sort of like extending it so I got the joiners to cut it in half and half of it is screwed to the wall there as a sideboard and half of it screwed to the wall in our snug is another sideboard I think that table cost me 50 pounds and I got two sideboards out of it so winner um, and I have a couch. So if I'm doing Instagram, you'll often find me there doing my messages. I spend my whole time in my kitchen, so I want to just be able to relax in it as well. And I have a friend who had a couch in her kitchen I thought it was so luxurious, so I went for that. So that is like this end, okay? So quite often it's where the kids do homework and we just chill out and we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner and all those sort of things. And then the other working end is what I'm gonna show you now. Come on and see, and I'll even show you in my cupboard. Okay, so welcome to the working end of my kitchen. And this is the bit that you see all the time on videos as well. In fact, I've been filming something for Instagram that you might have seen on my stories this morning, which is about how to make lattice pastries and that's still sort of set up there. The units that I've got are about 20 years old from Howden's. Um, they have been, like sort of like 
re-screwed together, reworked. I could really do with a new one, but I hate spending money on kitchen, so I'm not going to. And I'm quite lucky because through that door at the back is where my pantry is and my washing machine and stuff is, so I don't need a lot of stuff in this kitchen. So um, what I do love though is a middle bit of the kitchen. That's where I like to work, on a big clear space if you can. I've only got a couple of cupboards on the wall and then I've got some open shelf space over here that I'll show you. Um, uh, my big aga, which takes up tons of room. Um, and why don't I let you see this side of the kitchen and I'll let you see what's in all the cupboards first. Okay, so just to run through the um, worktop first, I've got this big old set of scales that um, I just love. They're not really practical to use. I keep my Nespresso pods in them, but I just love it. And it reminds me of sort of my granny having them and stuff like that. Um, I love Joseph Vin Joseph stuff. So I do have quite a lot of that. I find it really practical. Love their chopping boards. Um, really good brand, not cheap, but lasts for a long time. So I like that. Nespresso maker because I am addicted to coffee. Um, toaster, obviously. Kettle, just the same as everybody else. We've got this out at the moment. This sort of, Dara got this from Santa. Um, it's a chocolate maker from Hotel Chocolate. Um, but it's usually not out. It's out because, of course, we're all homeschooling. Um, she's the only one that likes chocolate. So I'm quite happy to leave it out just now. But when they go back to school, it will disappear. In here is basically, basically, um, coffee stuff and mugs and um, hot chocolate and other drinks and then I keep stuff in here for the kids beside the toaster so it's got peanut butter it's got Nutella don't judge me we all have them um, lemon and lime maybe, um, marmalade whatever it is whatever they put on toast so that it's just here and they can put it back themselves rather than it being anywhere okay so down here I've got um, a little cupboard with crisps and we use a lot of these sort of flavored syrups the kids like them so um, I've got one of them this one is for cereal and juice um, I don't keep a lot of food in this kitchen. It's usually in my pantry. So I keep the stuff that the kids use all the time, really. Um, now, this is a good cupboard. Can you see in here, okay? This cupboard is really near where I work, my workstation. So it's got everything in it that I need, okay? It's got my rice cooker. It's got my little thing. Um, it's got measuring cups. It's got my chipper chopper chunker, which I love from Pampered Chef. They don't make them anymore, but there is one on my website if you want to have a look. Um, I keep back here a big box full of all my spoons because I use all different ones. Well, I use the same, but I've got like five different sets. So I just throw them back there. Um, so that is like my practical cupboard cupboard, my cheese grater, everything like that. Things that I know, not dishes, but like scales, everything that I know that I need to just grab. And I do put little screws in the side of the cupboard here. You know where you can decide where your shelf's gonna be. And I like to keep sort of like little measuring cups or these little graters are good for the kids, which I use a lot. These little handheld tiny graters. Um, so yeah, I do leave stuff like that there. It's got some chopping boards down the side, that sort of thing here. We've got cutlery, just works really well, just normal cutlery drawer in terms of working, I mean, where it is. You know, if you're making toast or tea or you're going to sit at the table. Um, and then this one, can you see in this one? Okay, so in this one, I love to keep my foil, my um, cling film. I buy most of this stuff from Costco. I know you can't see me, but I want you to see you in here. Um, Paper sandwich bags come in quite handy. I've got greaseproof paper. I love these bakel foil catering sheets as well when I'm doing lots of like individual portions of like say mozzarella chicken and stuff like that. I've got my soup bags. I use these tip and zip because they're the cheapest ones I can get. And I've got my bakel foil big plastic ones as well. This is where I keep all my reusables. They just work lying flat the best. And in one of them, I've got all the tiny little ones because it's a big one. So it holds all the tiny reusable bags. Keep my nice, you know what these are if you're into batching. Keep them in there. My baggie holders, oven gloves, um, dish towels. And I use one of these vegetable sort of bags, you know, that you put your vegetables in to hold all my cloths. I find it works really well. As they come out the wash, I just throw them in there. I use a cloth every day and then just wash it at night. And I keep quite a lot of these for if I'm opening like frozen veg and I want to seal it and I don't want it to be next to my, um, I don't want, you know, peas all over my freezer. I tend to use them. So um, really practical sort of cupboards here. I'm not very Instagrammable. 
you know, it's not the most beautiful sort of laid out cupboards. It's really practical in my house. Um, I wish I was, I wish I could do that. But I always look at these Instagrammable cupboards and I see like beautiful glass jars with pasta and I think, where's the pasta that didn't fit in that jar? Because there must be a, a random bag somewhere. Where's all that sort of stuff? And having things in two places and not knowing the sell by dates would sort of drive me insane. So I'm sort of just really practically minded to the way I stick to it. Um, right, let's go to the next side of the aga, okay? Generally, um, a big bread bin. I'd love a bread bin. Love this one. Got this in Norfolk on holiday once. One of those sort of, um, I love vintage enamel. So this came from like the 50s, I think it was. Um, so I use a bread bin all the time. Um, salt cellar, which came from France, which I love. You can just scoop in when you're cooking at the aga and grab some salt. Um, and then we have like a cupboard here that has like, you know, crackers and some biscuits and various things like that. Another cupboard drawer full of other things that I just use a lot. I use these a lot, these kitchen timers. They're from um, Amazon, they're really quite cheap, but if you've got like four things on the go at once, you can set them and I put a little sticker just saying what they are. You can do it on your phone as well. I just find it easier to do this, especially if I'm using my phone for Instagram. So these little timers are quite good. Um, and then these two drawers below, I really keep four pans uh, like this, okay? Like trays and um, different types of baking trays and all, all of that sort of thing. It just works really well. It's right beside the aga, so I can just grab them out and throw them on or in the ag, I should say. And then we've got the fridge and freezer over here. So fridge and freezer over here. And when we had this built, we didn't know what to do with this area. So we had our joiners just put something around it. A friend of mine had a similar thing, so sort of copied that. I've got my bins over here in the corner. I'd love to have them integrated and hidden somewhere, but this kitchen doesn't really call for it. So it's, they're sort of behind this door. Um, I always get a huge one for the recycling and then a small one just for food. So um, yeah, we've sort of worked our way around and we're on this side of the kitchen next. Now you've all pretty much seen this area before because it's shot lots on camera as well. So I've got my dishwasher here. Um, I swear by Mealy dishwashers, they're super expensive, but again, they last for ages. I do tend to buy lots of quality things living here because I'm so far away from if anything breaks or to get anything fixed. Um, usual under the sink sort of paraphernalia. Um, at the moment, I'm loving this method. Um, um, wild rhubarb and somebody told me it gives you little messages secret messages underneath every time you buy a different bottle which is nice um, again I use method um, pink grapefruit soap um, none of this is branded I'm just just basically telling you I love um, I love these um, daddy sponges what are they called scrub daddy I use them for everything I use them for cleaning the bathroom I use them for clean like not these ones uh, so I've got certain ones that stay in the kitchen I've got ones that I use for the bathrooms I've got ones that are really old and I use them for cleaning kids trainers just love them scrub daddy um, and then in here this cupboard is the bane of my life this is the drinks bottles cupboards which we seem to just grow them I don't know we just get millions of drinks bottles and Tupperware Tupperware I've really gone to town and scaling back I did this cupboard a few weeks ago it stayed like this I am loving these things they are, rather than Tupperware that you keep for years and it goes all weird, these ones still last. They, um, they're, they go in the dishwasher, they're like little Chinese tubs, they stack nice in the fridge, they're just the right size that I need and you can reuse them over and over and over again. They seem to last a long, long, long time. So I am loving these instead of all this different size Tupperware and stuff like that. Um, Right, let me come back up. Okay, so I was going to speak about freezer foraging and lots of other stuff this Tuesday, but that just took ages. Um, uh, I hope you liked it. Basically, none of us are getting to go anywhere. I'd love to come and have a nosy around someone else's kitchen. Um, mine's isn't that exciting, but I hope you enjoyed nosying around mine. Let me know if there's any questions you want to ask me. Um, and um, apart from that, happy Tuesday. Take care. Bye.